Welcome to HP Tuner's Ford Mod Motor Training Part 3. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at working with our VCM scanner software. Now, our VCM scanner software is going to allow us to hook up to our PCM and capture the data out of our PCM's OD2 port. This is going to allow us to review all of the pertinent information that we need in order to make successful changes within our VCM editor software in the calibration file that we're going to be flashing and reading from our PCM. So this is going to be part of the tuning process. If we don't know how to use the VCM scanner software, you're never going to be able to successfully calibrate and tune using your VCM editor software. So without further wait, let's jump into our video so we can check out taking a look at our VCM scanner software and getting accustomed to it so we can move forward within our training courses. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with our VCM scanner software. Now, in a previous training tutorial, we looked at our VCM editor software, just doing a generalized overview. That's exactly what we're going to be doing here in this video, getting comfortable with our scanner software, understanding the differences in our scanner software, and just uh, understanding what we need to work with and how we're going to be working with the scanner software so that when we go into future training videos, things are going to make a bit more sense and you'll feel a bit more comfortable as they're going through and taking a look at uh, interfacing with the scanner because it is going to be playing a vital role in the calibration process. Just as we find in our VCM editor software here, we read and write the changes to our ECU. If we don't know what's going on as our engine is running and as our PCM is interpreting all of the data out of the ECU, we can't accurately make any changes. We don't know what's going on. We'd essentially be making our changes blindly into any of these tables. So our scanner is going to be super important. It is going to tell us exactly what the PCM is thinking and taking a look at all this sensor data, we can then move from our scanner, looking at our data logs, the captured data, recorded data, and go back into our VCM editor and make accurate changes. If you don't know how to use the scanner and you don't know how to capture proper data logs and read the data logs, you will never calibrate your engine properly using your VCM editor software. So again, this is just as important, if not more important, working with the scanner side of things than actually going in and making your changes. But both are going to be working hand in hand. I, I find that they're equally as important, but the scanner is super, super important. Again, we just can't um, skip over working with the scanner. You're not going to be able to get around uh, being able to not interpret the data or learning how to analyze the data and uh, being able to use this software up to its full capability. So let's take a look at the three main areas or the three main aspects of the VCM scanner software first and then we're going to jump in and talk about some of the other small details up here in the background. Now if we're taking a look here under our first area over on the left hand side, this is known as our channels list. The channels list is going to be what available channels we have to log with the vehicle that we're working with. Now in this case, um, I want to point out a few things. At the very top, we see that we're on the offline status. That means that I'm not actually inside of a vehicle right now. I'm, I'm filming this remotely um, in my filming studio here. So I don't have my VCM uh, scanner software connected to my vehicle through my MPVI or MPVI2 cable. That's, I haven't established a communication. So therefore, if we're looking here under the offline status, we can see here that the last vehicle, it's always going to be displaying the last vehicle that I was connected to, we're showing here that was a 2003 Chevy Silverado. So that was the last vehicle I was tuning uh, just last week. So we're seeing that that's going to report that. Now, once I connect to an actual vehicle, it's going to be reading the year, the model, the make, and then the engine and the VIN number, and it'll display online up here as soon as my MPVI or MPVI2 cable is plugged into my laptop, plugged into the OB2 scan port, and the ignition key is powered on. So we've established that communication. But in this case, we're not. I wanted to point that out because that is going to be leading me into my channels area here. So in my channels area, this is going to be all of the various channels that we're able to work with. And these are also known as PID or PIDs. This is going to be what we want to data log um, in our logging and our, in our real-time streaming of our information. If we don't log a channel in our channels list, we can't do anything else with the other areas within our scanner. That's going to be in our graph, which is going to be known as the histogram area, or our chart versus time is where we can graphically plot looking at our data. So again, if we don't log it here in our channels list, we can't work with it in the histogram, we can't work with it in the chart versus time. Seems very basic, but is a very, very important detail. A lot of people get hung up on that, why they can't get something to work in these other areas within our VCM scanner software. So let's move back in here. 
Now, what we're going to be finding is that under here, under name, we see that these are all going to be listed. If you notice, the majority of what we're finding here are SAE channels, meaning these are standardized channels across our OBD2 ports um, for any kind of engine. So if you take a generic OBD2 scan tool, you'll find that's always going to be logging what's known as an SAE PID channel or PID channel. And we can see engine RPM here, that's a standardized SAE channel. All the engine manufacturers or the vehicle manufacturers have to comply to these SAE uh, uh, specific channels or P PIDs or PIDs um, so that any scan tool can plug in and we can find this very basic data. Now this is a generic or universal list of PID channels that can log across almost any kind of engine uh, as we're finding here. Now if we want to go in here and we want to go and search and add specific uh, PIDs or PIDs for the vehicle that we're working with, we can go up here into our little gear icon and click add channel. And we can find here that a list drops down and it's going to allow me to start to cruise through the list if we can see what's available. Now this particular list is going to be suited to the vehicle that I was last connected with. So anything that I'm finding available here, as we're kind of going through, this will be pertinent to a 2003 Chevy Silverado. So in this case, it doesn't pertain to anything related to a Ford. So um, if we go in here, we have an alternative to adding in our certain uh, PID channels that we want to take a look at. We can also go here and open up list. Now we can see it's called open. Channel. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here and you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.